morning everybody today's video is going to be it's part of my daily vlog series but it's going to be a job on the Brompton T line when I'm riding as you know it's a Brompton T line 12 speed and I'm using all the gears but I'm not using the top gears a lot and it's geared actually it's geared very well for me around Mansfield and especially in London it's superb in London and places like that in Kings Lynn where it's fairly flat and, and the going's easy um, also it needs a, something good clean so I want to experiment I want to change the gearing I want to change the gearing because I, I can perhaps um, so I sorted off, I got this carbon Cannondale spider thing to fit in here, but the offset, I don't know how to show you this, the offset from here to essentially where the chain ring fits isn't enough. So the chain ring is going to be out, I think, five or ten mil too far, and that's too extreme for the chain line. Behind here, let's have a look. I don't know how this is working. Behind here, there's a spacer. You can reduce the size of that spacer, which moves the crank through a whisker which will put my chain ring back in line where it should be I don't particularly want to do that I, what I want to do I want to buy a crank set that fits with a 44 tooth chain ring as of yet I've not found one as of yet Brompton don't do one whether anything will come available I don't know so it's a hack and I don't want to do a I don't want to do a particularly useless hack I mean Brompton have offset the chain ring that much because obviously that's how the bike is going to pedal centrally with regards pedals and and everything else they put a lot of research into doing this so I'd see no reason to change these distances so by way of experimenting I've got a standard Brompton crank set I've got a Brompton bottom bracket, so I think I'm going to fit that to this by way of experiment to see what happens. So let's see what happens, shall we? I'll bring you back further down the road. Right, I've got the, the bottom bracket out of the cups. I used this tool here. Um, I got it off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Right, let's see what it always. That's going to be the question everyone wants answering. What is the weight? So with the best kitchen scales out. Here's the T-line carbon crank set. And that's weighing it to 159 grams without pedals. And the standard Brompton 44 chain set is 874 grams. So that's 115 grams difference ish, is it? A quick guesstimate. 707, well, 760 grams. Eight set, 872, 100, 102 grams. So it's not. A great amount but it is heavier so let's fit it up and uh, and see what happens the chain the chain keep has three positions 56 50 and 44 so that'll that'll fit so let's get it together and uh, see what happens next we'll put the bottom bracket in 
absolutely went in incredibly so smooth ever so smoothly the bottom bracket went in the cut went in this is a tool I used to fit it I've not over tightened it I've just pulled it up nicely that's just a standard bottom bracket tool Lucius hello Lucy Lucy's come out to have a look Um, she's gonna see the camera now and think, oh no, not the camera. Cat in shot. Hello Lucy. Oh yes, we're doing bike repairs. You hate bike repairs, don't you? Right, we'll crank it up and uh go down the road on it. Bring you back in a minute. Right, well we're fitted. I was wrong about the chain keep it doesn't have the third hole so I can't lower that down the the p-line has three holes for three positions this doesn't but the chain keep on the p-line fell off very early on in its life and uh, it isn't suffering for not having it on there so maybe this won't either all right I haven't shortened the chain that's the angle of dangle on the uh, on the chain. Let's just get it into the. So that's the slackest the chain will ever be. Let's run it through the gears and see what happens. I'll take the pedal with me. You need to remember the all important washers that fit between the pedal and the crank arms on the carbon crank set. You just have to pick them out of the recess here. So, gearing reduced. I'm not going to ride it today, I'm going to do a different ride video because I need to just pop and ride me now. In fact, I'll go and ride my hill and I'll come back and tell you how it performed. Right, I've had to take here. Yeah, I've taken a link out of the the chain. The chain's absolutely disgusting. Where's the joining link? Anyway, I've taken one link out of the chain, which is here. That'll go with the crank set with a joining link it's a winner my nemesis hill which is just around the corner from where I live I, there's two lamp posts and what I do is I count the pedal strokes between the two lamp posts and 23 is okay I can cope with a 22 but certainly when it comes to 21 pedal strokes it's getting things getting a bit steep it's okay on a bike that's not loaded um but when you've got your touring kit and your camping kit or all your gear on you feel it anyway so my 23 is my cutoff point this comes up in 26. in actual fact that is this is my lowest geared bike I've got the only other bike that comes up there it comes up in 25 strokes I don't do gear inches I don't do mathematics it's all irrelevant all I have to do is pedal up that hill and if I pedal up that hill okay it's the keeper if it's if it's hard work I do I do stuff to um to change it well this is a winner so <coughs> standard Brompton spider chain crank set standard brompton 44 tooth chain ring i have got a strong light 
44 tooth chain ring. I've also got a strong like 46 chain ring, but I'd rather stick to standard off the shelf sizes. This, this it's standard off the shelf sizes as, as to why I didn't go with this. Because all of a sudden you're going beyond what's available off the shelf from any Brompton supplier. Even Amazon overnight, you can get Brompton bits. And to me that matters. So to summarize what I've done, I've removed the Brompton carbon crank set. Absolute doddle of a job to, to remove. I shall bag this and protect the threads. And keep it with the bike. So I removed that. I fitted a standard Brompton bottom bracket, which actually came off the P line because that's had the arc conversion and had the torque sensor bottom bracket fitted. So it's an as new bottom bracket. It went in there, it came apart and went together as easy as anything. This is the tool I used. I think it's a 39 millimeter. This side, I think it's a 39 millimeter 16 point tool to remove the bottom bracket, and it was it wasn't tight. I didn't have it, it just went a good a good butch, and it came off both sides. That's how I put the bottom bracket back in. The bottom bracket screwed in all the way smoothly and easily. The last two turns on the on the plastic cup, I did have to use a tool, but it wasn't tight, so it's all nipped up. Um, I'm down in London next week I'll probably pop into well I don't know I might just take the chain keep off and move it down because gearing wise it's a keeper and it's only a sticky bud a 3M sticky bud that holds it on so I think the chain keep will come off like I say I've got the chain keep to refit to the, the P line anyway and uh well, I guess really I should order a blank, a black crank set. I'll pick that up when I'm down in London from uh, Covent Garden. And I call in to see the guys there. It's transformed. It absolutely transformed. There was nothing wrong with it before. But what it's done, it's moved my gearing range down by essentially, I would think, to give, to give you something you can equate to, I would think it's moved my gearing range down by two gears on the lowest end and it's removed two gears at the top end how that's changed because i like to ride in second gear on the hub and whatever's on the back so how that I, I will know when i go for a longer ride so essentially i've lost two high gears and gained two lower gears in in those sort of steps so you can work out yourself what difference it's going to make anyway I might be on it in London for the Kew Garden ride, I don't know yet. Yeah, I should do really, come down on this. Be a long day though. Anyway, oh, it's got war wounds and it hasn't wiped off. It has got a few war wounds already. Right. <sighs> Thank you for watching my little video on what will be in some people's eyes further cocking up my Brompton T-Line but it's my Brompton T-Line and I bought it to serve a purpose and it's going to serve that purpose it's an still it's an incredibly light bike it's an incredible fantastic serviceable bike it's got the I put the carrier on it I need to get the wall notes for the P-Line, they weren't available. Put the Marathon Pluses on. Hated with vengeance. I will never be convinced there's a better tyre. This, this front wheel moves so freely. Just look at that. Just a touch. That is so... That is why you buy a Brompton bike.
That is way by Brompton T line. Again, thank you for watching. I hope it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, message me. Message me on um, on the Facebook group Nottinghamshire Madness by Andrew Marshall. Send me an email Nottinghamshire Madness at yahoo.com and I will include a link for this tool in the description because it was only 12 quid something like that no, I'll never use it again thanks for watching guys That's been all day.